So I break chipping into two elements, airtime and ground time. Airtime is controlled by the length of the swing and ground time is controlled by the club or the loft of the club that you're actually using. The less loft that you have on the club, the more the ball will run. The more loft you have on the golf club, the less the ball will run when it lands. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I train and how I work out how much the ball rolls. So I've just put a little alignment stick down there as a rough guide, and I've got my gap wedge here. So the first shot I'm gonna hit is I'm gonna land it just past that alignment stick. I could put another alignment stick further on, but the ball might hit it and it might interrupt the ball's roll. So for today, I'm just thinking I wanna hit it past that alignment stick. So I'm not aiming at a flag. The flag's just over there, but we, this is just a training drill. So I'm gonna hit the first one and we'll just see what happens. So that landed a little bit short of my alignment stick. So it was about that far short, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Near enough is good enough. So when the ball landed, it rolled. This is downhill, so it's gonna roll a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull out my nine iron from the same spot, and I'm gonna try and land it roughly in the same area because my target my landing target is the same spot. Even though we've changed club, it should be the same length of swing. It doesn't vary. So that one landed that little bit further and the ball has rolled on a little bit further. So now I'm gonna hit a seven iron. So once again, my landing area is roughly the same. Therefore, my length of swing should roughly be the same. The only thing that's changed is the length of the club. So that landed just over that little white stick and you can see that ball's rolled up. I did have another five iron here, but today in this circumstance, I'm not gonna hit it because I don't have enough room. It's downhill, as I said. But can you see a pattern emerging from the three shots that I've hit? So, but all of the balls have landed within that far of each other. It wasn't absolutely perfect, but it's near enough. And then the ball has landed. And if we look up there, there's about the same distance between the first ball and the second ball and then the third ball. So the rollout is a little bit different. Now, because this is downhill a little bit, it's rolling out a little bit more. If this was dead flat, there would be approximately three paces or 10 feet, three meters, three yards, something like that, in between the clubs that I've hit. So remember, I started with my gap wedge, then I went to my nine iron and then went to my seven iron. So I was gonna hit a five iron, but that would put me over the back I might just go and grab my lob wedge, even though I, I always bang on, you don't want to chip with a lob wedge. I'm just gonna show you what happens when you do chip with a lob wedge. Okay, so now I've got my lob wedge. I'm gonna try and land it in the same spot and we'll just see what happens. Nothing else is changing. So that's roughly landed in the same spot. And if we look at the, those four golf balls, the pattern is there is a similar distance between all of those balls. And that's the lesson in this exercise, that your lob wedge will run the shortest, your gap wedge will run the next furthest, nine iron, seven iron, and if the green was big enough and it wasn't downhill, we'd be using a five iron. So if you can start practicing and training like this, you'll start to imagine how much rollout there is. Now, because it's downhill, it's rolling out a little bit more, but there's usually about 10 feet, which is about three good paces between each of those clubs. Now, remember, I'm using what I would call the odd clubs, the lob wedge, the gap wedge, the nine, the seven, and the, and the five iron. So if you play around with this, you're gonna get much better at your judgment, and I know it's gonna help you improve your score. Now, if you wanna improve your score, I'm going to put a link to another video up here that I know is going to help you improve your score. 